I gotta be honest, you guys. I didn't start upcycling furniture because I wanted to save the planet. No, I did it because I wanted a purple chair and a red dining room table and a green buffet. I wanted things to be colorful and bright and fun and I couldn't find it anywhere. So now I teach others how to do it. You wanna do this chair with me? So we're gonna start with Miss Lillian's no wax chalk paint. Add in some water. The ratio is about three to one. Three parts water, one part paint. Mix it up, spray down your surface. Get it nice and wet. Now, paint it on, just like that. Just keep going. This is your first layer. It's okay if it's runny. It's okay if it drips. We're just gonna get this on here because we're basically dyeing the fabric rather than painting it. So let it sink in and meet me back for the next step alternating between wetting it down and then using your watered down paint. Don't worry if it looks splotchy or doesn't look perfect the first time, but don't put too much paint on here or else it will get crunchy. Just keep going, pick whatever color you love. Some of you have asked if you can do this on darker colored fabrics. My rule of thumb is just make sure whatever color you're painting is a shade or two darker than the fabric you're starting with. So don't go from black to white, but you can definitely go from gray to a darker blue or a pink to a dark purple. Now, just let this dry, and as soon as it's dry to the touch, re-wet it and do it again. Keep doing it until you get the color you want. All right, kiddos, I've done a coat, I let it dry, a coat, I let it dry. I could keep going to get a full solid color, this is a boho chair makeover and I have other plans. So I'm leaving this model tone and then watch what I'm gonna do next. So I'm grabbing another color of Miss Lillian's, Wild Violet, rolling it out on a block, making sure to get really even. Then I'm picking my favorite stencil and I'm going right on the fabric. Check it out. Just do it again and again. Use any kind of stencil, stamp, whatever you love. I'm just gonna put these all over in kind of a random pattern. And don't forget the edges. You can go right over the side. And voila, how fun is that? We're not done yet, there's more to come. All right, kiddos, in the boho world, more is more. So you can see what I've done and you can jump off this ride whenever you feel your piece is done. But I am gonna keep going and going and going. So next step, we're gonna be using some stamps. Really cool stamps. I sell these in my shop. They're iron orchid designs. And I'm gonna put some leaves around all of these crazy flowers. So I'm grabbing my next color, Regal by Miss Lillian's. I like to put it on a block so it's nice and flat. I'm taking my stamp, I'm pressing it down, and I'm using a brayer to make sure I get it really even. Then just press it right onto the fabric, you guys. It's that easy. Pull it up, gorgeous. Now, do it again, and again, and again. Even go around the edges. Looks so cool. I'm loving how this looks, but I still got more to do. Stay tuned. Time to paint this piece, folks, but first we gotta get that gloss off. So let's put some first step prep right on that pad and rub it in. Then flip your piece upside down so you don't miss those inside legs. First I thought I wanted black, but then I thought, nah, I want a little purple in there. So I just mixed it in and put it right on top. Then I wipe it back a little bit. See how I do that? Now stay tuned for what's next. Now that's right. <laughs> Here we go. Flame of fire red eye, chili pepper sizzle Burn your tongue or when you taste it, but just a little Funny more a sweet too, angel baby kisses A Friday night vibing in the black girl with sequins Ooh, 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 ooh,
Yep. Nope. Yep. Nope. Yep. Hey. Every day I'm shining. You got that light too. We should be blinded. For real. Hey. Every day I'm shining. I'm shining. You got that light too. We should be blinded.